Welcome to Gamer Station Indie Game News. I'm your host, Steven Snake and Lindsay, and this is some of the latest news in the indie gaming world. Power Up, the arranged music of V. Released just over the weekend is the arranged version of the soundtrack to V. The album features 23 tracks and over an hour and a half of music is available in either FLAC or MP3 format. You can get in either a CD or digital download format for at least $10. We have a link to the site where you can get a ranged version or the older non-arranged version down below. Blocks That Matter Gameplay Footage Coming out early next month on the Xbox Live Indie Game Marketplace, later on your computer device of choice, will be Blocks That Matter, the next game by Swing Swing Submarine. In the game you control a block in a blocky world. Certain materials that are around the level can be collected and used later on for puzzles. You can use these materials to create Tetris shapes which when are lined up with other materials can cause them to be cleared out. This will be the group's first commercial release game and there's no announcement on a price just yet. Now, once upon a time, there were these two guys on an adventure. But they weren't just any two guys. Oh no, they were best friends. The best of friends. Think about your best friend. Pretty good, right? Wrong. Yours is worthless in comparison. It, oh, I can't. Sorry. Now, one of them had a square head, and his name was Hattie. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. And his best friend here had a round head, and his name was... Uh... He didn't really have a name for some reason. Also, they were on a boat. We got the, uh, and that's how they were adventuring. You see? The little boat. Oh, and it was a grand adventure. They were eating tasty snacks and telling each other scary stories and singing songs like, like Hattie was all like, boat, 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 boat. And then his round-headed friend was all doing backups like, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. So it was all like, boat, da, boom, bada, boat, da, boom. An adventure on a boat. And everything seemed to be okay. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise and a storm brood. Boy, that was quick. Huge giant waves. How big in that? And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Oh, thank goodness that's over, said Hattie to his friend. Gave me an awful fright, Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm can be very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it, because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time, twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship, and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed, he was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of bullets. Ah! Ah! And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Hattie was all like, uh oh, this isn't good. And there was this huge whale and he was all like, Wah! made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh God. It was an unbelievable nightmare. And all of a sudden it was over. Vanished on the wings of a dream. And so it was written in their fate books of fate that they were to experience a shipwreck. What will they do? Perhaps get shelter in this mysterious island. No, I don't. You, I don't. You, I don't. You welcome to Battle Block Theater. Snapshot Spring Trailer. We told you about Snapshot in one of our previous videos. In the game, you're to solve puzzles by using various elements in the area, which is kind of an obvious thing, as a lot of games do that. But in this game, the gimmick is that you can snap photos of these elements and move them freely around the world. This can include anything from doorways, crates, and enemy projectiles, too. You can expect to be able to get a hold of the game for the PC during summer of this year. Funding Terms for Indie Fund Revealed Indie Fund is a small organization that has been created to help out indie developers to help fund their game. Unlike other sites such as Kickstarter or 8-Bit Funding, this is a loan provided by the group itself. This group consists of several indie developers and they are using their own money to help people out. 
They have recently put out the terms for the loan, which is three pages long and is in simple enough English that hopefully anyone out there should be able to understand. If you're needing some funding for your next project, but don't think you can advertise enough to get it through Kickstarter or 8-bit funding, then this is another option for you to consider. Give Up Robot 2 Soundtrack Are you a fan of the music to Give Up Robot 2, which was released late last year on Adult Swim's website, I believe? Then you can get the soundtrack to it totally free. A link is provided below for it as, well, most other things here. Warm Gun Trailer It seems everyone looked over this game, including us. Warm Gun is a multiplayer shooter set in a futuristic steampunk western setting which will be coming to the iOS devices and the PC in May. The game has six classes to choose from and five game modes to play in. From the trailer, the game is looking up and I can't wait to get my hands on it to suck horribly and get fragged by everyone out there. Fez PAX Trailer If you went to PAX East this year, you would have gotten to play a demo for Fez. Right before PAX, there was a new trailer release showing some of the game in action. Expect to be able to play the game, finally, sometime this year on XBLA. Warner Brothers Pick Up Bastion With a planned release on the XBLA this summer, and later this year on the PC, Bastion has been picked up by the Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment Division. For those that don't know, Bastion is an action RPG that follows the story of The Kid, who has survived a cataclysm and must help to reconstruct the world. Bastion also was nominated for Excellence in Visuals at this year's IGF, and this will also be the first game from Super Giant Games. It's also one of the games I'm most excited to get for this year. Three indie devs getting serious. Serious Sam. While I've kind of had mixed feelings involving Serious Sam, I must say that they did scratch a certain itch. Now in celebration of the upcoming third game, three indie devs have been given and accepted a task to create a game involving Serious Sam. The developers are Mommy's Best Games behind Shoot One Up, B Rad Entertainment behind Lane Castle, and Vlam Beer behind Super Crate Box. Mommy's Best Games will create Serious Sam Double D, a 2D side scroller shooter. B Rad will create a Serious Sam Kamikaze Attack which will be an auto-running game, putting you in control of a horde of headless kamikaze group attacking Sam. And Vlambeer Serious Sam, The Random Encounter, which will be a role-playing game in the Sam universe. These games will be released in the coming months for multiple platforms. Super Crossfire Trailer If you're a fan of the Crossfire series by Radiant Games, then you'll likely be happy to hear that their next Crossfire game will be going multi-platform. You can get Super Crossfire on PC, Mac, iOS devices, browser-based, and eventually Android devices. There is no mention of a console version of the game, though. The game will supposedly combine the goods in the first and second Crossfire to create a super game. No release date just yet, but expect to see it soon. Moss Speedrun Trailer I've personally never been a person who is into speedrunning games. I'm more of a completionist type of person, at least I like to tell myself that. Even back in the days of the old Super Mario Bros. game, I always wanted to get all the coins in the top score over going through a level quickly, unlike my cousins. Moss Speedrun is a game that is all about getting through a level as quick as you can. Now there are multiple speedruns that you can go through. There is normal, completionist, hidden skulls, and possibly more. Also, the game will have the option to have ghosts from your previous attempts at a stage or another player's if you grab his data. The game will offer 20 levels, but there will be level packs released in the future. The game is planned to be released on the iOS in early April. Bitejacker Undead on Arrival Soundtrack This clearly has to be the week of soundtrack releases, as this is our third one for this video. This time it's a browser-based game called Bitejacker, which we recommended during one of our Browser Games of the Week videos. You can head over and get all 20 songs for $4 in either FLAC or MP3 format. Link, as always, can be found below. Congregate Unity Game Contest Winners 
If you didn't know about Congregate having a contest for those Unity game developers, you probably aren't alone, because I sure didn't know about it till I was informed by a game developer about a month ago. Anyways, for the winners. Taking third place is Aurora. Second place, Sarah's Run. The grand prize winner is Antimatter. Congratulations to all of them, and... Cthulhu Saves the World Enhanced Edition Details Again Some slight new specifications on the upcoming enhanced version of Cthulhu Saves the World were revealed and the version is now being called or at least what Zaboid is calling it Cthulhu Saves the World Super Hyper Enhanced Championship Edition Alpha Diamond DX Plus Alpha FES HD Hyphen <gasps> Premium Enhanced Game of the Year Collector's Edition Without Avatars some more details on Cthulhu's angels were revealed. Cthulhu is too lazy to save the world, so he sends out some beautiful women to do it for him. There will be new characters like Molly the Wear Zompire, Elinelina the Generic Killer, Dark Knight Umi, Low Level October, and possibly more than that. There will also be some celebrity cameos, including Robert Koo of Penny Arcade. Lastly, there will be an obscure hint in the game about Zaboid's next game. It'll be coming out soon, free for those on the 360, but it will cost $3 to purchase on the PC, as this will be the first time it's released on the PC. Project Zomboid Announced Announced yesterday by Lemmy is his newest project, tentatively titled Project Zomboid. It's a survival RPG set in a zombie apocalypse, as it always has to be zombies. The game will be playable both online and browsers, and as a downloadable version. He says that there'll be a real-time lighting effect in place in a day-night system. At night, use the darkness to avoid detection, but avoid sounds as they will likely draw attention. There'll be an advanced survivor AI set in place, and supposedly they'll go as far as to lie to you about being bit by a zombie, which, of course, you yourself can suffer from. You can die heroically, or you can hide it in... Well, turn into a zombie and kill those around you. The world itself is pre-generated, but all other content, survivors, items, quests, etc. will all be randomly generated. The game is sounding quite ambitious. Let's just hope it can live up to it. Slam Bolt Scrapper released on PSN. After 2.5 years, Slam Bolt Scrapper is now available on the PSN. I have yet to have any time for the game, as last time I checked it's not up when I'm recording this, but the game involves you collecting and stacking similar color blocks together to create towers. Each type of block has its own type of tower, and these are used against other opponents. The game can handle up to four players at the same time. Tig Source vs. Competition Voting Tig Source's latest competition, whose theme was Versus, has come to a close for entries. The contest has 81 games, and I've only been able to play one before having to record this video. It wasn't that good. You are allowed to vote for three games, and have to have in your votes by March 28th. So go ahead and have fun, and vote for your top three of the 81. And that's all the news that I could find for this week. If you don't know, each and every Wednesday we'll have a new video in this series. And on Sundays, we have our browser games of the week. So subscribe to us to be up to date on all these videos and any other ones that we do whenever we feel like it.